right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. We have got a overview for you today of two Vero engineering products. But first, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV, and let's get started. Now, these come by way of what I'm affectionately calling the Lefty Pass Around Group. Uh, our friend Kevin Lefty EDC ends up, uh, you know, talking to everybody in in the world and uh, gets stuff sent in for review. And he is gracious enough uh, to send it around to a few of us. And so this is like the third or fourth thing that I've gotten uh, through that. And Kevin, I thank you and appreciate you so much, guys. If you're not following my friend Lefty EDC, you need to check him out. Uh, he's different than me, but, <laughs> and you'll see if you uh, watch him, but he is awesome. He does really good stuff and he is such a super kind dude. Uh, don't tell him I said that. So uh, moving on, this is two products from Vera. Now I'm calling these overviews because, um, well, you'll see why as we go through. Now the Neuron is the knife and it comes uh, in this Vero engineering box. Nothing, you know, super special cut out foam inside. Uh, really cool artwork on there, and he even gives you uh, some of the information about the knife. Uh, it is uh, titanium, uh, you know, a titanium frame lock, and he's saying uh, with titanium liners, which is interesting. Yeah, so it does have uh, cutouts in there, and uh, well, I don't actually think this one's got liners. This is just, hold on, let me look at it off camera. That's what happens when you read a, bo a box. Well, okay, so there are titanium liners in there that hold the detent uh, ball. So if you look right up in there, you'll see these little titanium liners inside uh, the titanium frame. So that's really interesting. Now, this is a double detent knife. Um, not really my style, but a lot of you probably will dig this because of the fidgetability. Now, I'm doing this behind camera. There we go. Um you know, it's it doesn't make a lot of sound. Uh, the the initial detent is pretty good. You can see there. Uh, the the final detent breaks fairly easily. Um, not you know again for the style of knife that it is, it's fine. You're going to be most of your cuts. Uh, just don't push on this a lot, uh, but you're going to be pressing downward on the blade, so uh, that'll hold it in place. Uh, but treat it like you would a slip joint, and maybe even. Um, a little more gingerly because again, uh, you know, it breaks free pretty easy. Now this is a flipper. Uh, you can see it's that back style flipper and it is a uh, front flipper, which I can actually do. Um, let me get my finger out of the way. I keep forgetting. I keep reaching for a liner lock. Um, you can middle finger flick it and let's see. I can't remember because I don't do this very much. Yeah, you know, you can't really thumb flick it. At least I can't. It's just too small of a slot uh, to get into. But very, very cool. You do have a good sharpening choil. It is, as I said, a titanium frame lock. You do have great uh, rounded chamfered edges that feel really good in the hand. Now, this is, if I'm backed up like so, it's a three-finger knife. If I come up on this flat, it's a four-finger knife, and it's pretty comfortable. Um, and I'm kind of gripping it in sort of this pinch grip kind of thing because uh, it makes me feel a little more secure about that lock. So uh, lock detent. Uh, you know, and the detent does, you know, it holds it pretty well. Uh, just, you know, not my thing, if you will, in that regard. Uh, but it is cool. You've got this really cool look. These are made by Best Tech in China. Great centering, good construction. You just got one uh, barrel spacer back here and the pivot. And that's, I mean, that's it. Super simple, super open construction, very lightweight. We'll talk about that in a minute. Great, uh, you know, the jimping's back here, but again, the way I'm carrying it, that's fine. You got Vero up here. Uh, you do have some chamfering and a swedge here. Uh, basically, this looks like the mini Axon um, made into a, uh, you know, a double detent knife, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, nice edge on it. It cuts really well. Uh, for EDC tasks, it's got that great tip uh, to get down into stuff. And then again, it came uh, pretty daggone, sticky sharp, uh, cuts really well. Very clean blade uh, and clean. Every, I mean, it's just a clean looking knife. You do have the V here. Um, this pocket clip 
where my finger lands is right about there. So it's not bad. Again, I prefer to not have it ramped up so much. It does ramp over now. It does go in and out of the pocket. Well, you got about that much sticking out of your pocket. Well, wait a minute. I'm a little off. About that much sticking out of your pocket. So not too bad. Um, and again, no blade. Well, okay. So there's a tiny bit of up and down wiggle, but that's because of it being a double detent. There's no side to side play at all. Now, um, let's just slip this over here so we can do this. I, I was gonna, um, pull out my regular, uh, my, my regular comparisons, but because it's so small, I decided to go with some smaller stuff. So, which, you know, not really small. This is, uh, the Jack Wolf knife sharpshooter Jack. You can see they're roughly the same size. So there you go. Uh, there's that one. And, uh, let's see, uh, what else do I have sitting over here? Well, nothing that would be super helpful. So yeah, that's what we're going to compare it to. It's roughly the same size as a sharpshooter jack, which again is a great, great slip joint knife. Uh, and that's kind of how I treated this one, like a slip joint. And again, it's a good fifth pocket carry does have a clip. So, uh, really dig that. Now let's talk specs a little bit here. Uh, by the way, the other reason this is an overview is these are not currently available. Uh, you know, Vero, they do, if you if you get on their mailing list, they do drops on a regular basis. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be more of these. They have a, a Micarta version. Um, and I think that Micarta version starts at about $210. And again, once you add stuff, uh, you know, they get more. Now, I cannot find a price on the titanium version. I would assume it's more than that. Uh, but again, just keep an eye and they will be available at some point. 6.3 inches overall, 3.65 inches closed. Uh, the overall, um, the blade length, excuse me, is 2.76. The blade thickness is 0.13. Bowler M390 steel with a 2.7 inch cutting edge. So again, if you're in a place that uh, both you can't have a locking knife and um, you know you need uh, a less than three inch blade. This is your guy. Two point seven ounces. Again, very light uh, and very cool. So uh, you know it's it's a really good knife. And again, like I said, let's just see here. I wasn't gonna cut, but we might as well. Um, I did a little bit the other day, so let's just uh, do this for the grins of it here. Yeah, I mean this is a cutting beast of a knife. I mean it just. It, it cuts well. So, I mean, there's nothing not to like in that regard. You know, for me, it's small. You know, for me, you got the double detent that breaks free on you. Uh, you know, just some of you are going to love this knife and others of you are not. And one of the things I'm trying so hard to do um, is give you guys options. Uh, I know a lot of reviewers end up only reviewing things, uh, you know, that, that kind of catch their interest. And this one did catch my interest, so don't don't take that the wrong way. But but I think it's important to review things that I might not want to own, but you guys might want to. So uh, I think that's cool. Now let's move on to the fulcrum. Now this is the fulcrum mini in raw, um, and inside you have a sticker, uh, you have a cloth, and you have three uh, t Torx bits and more Ranger bands. Um, for it. Now, uh, nice little Altoids tin, by the way. Uh, so, okay. So let's just have a philo philosophical, this is going to go longer than my normal 10 minutes, guys. Philosophical thing here. Um, I carried a tour, uh, multi-tool, they call it pry bar, uh, with a bit driver in it for quite some time. And I just realized I never used it. It was just something extra in my pocket. So I really wanted to check out the Fulcrum because the Fulcrum and the Fulcrum Mini have become really, really popular. Um, and I just wanted to see if I would feel any different. Um, you know, I, I don't, I think if I kept this one, if I had one and I, I would take the pocket clip off and I would just drop it in my pocket. Uh, the pocket clip doesn't bother me and it's good in and out of the pocket. I just don't think I need that. Um, and so what I would carry this as a, as a bit driver, and I would probably get the full size. It's $5 more. So these are, these are 90 and the full size are 95. Now, again, it, depending on finish, that will change. But I just don't use a pry bar very much. Um, 
I, I think I would use it as a bit driver. So it comes with a Phillips and a flathead and then um, the three uh, Torx. I think it was a T6, a T8, and a T10, but I, I can check that and put it in the description. But um, really cool, really well made. Uh, so let's just click on this guy to give you the size of it. Um, so it, and it, it does, it comes T6, T8, T10, Phillips, and slotted and a microfiber cloth, um, and, uh, well, do they give me, and again, there's all kinds of options, raw with clip, black with clip, um, black wash with black wash clip, brass with DLC clip, uh, purple with purple clip, blue with blue clip, I mean, so they're really, really cool, um, yeah, they don't really give me the size here, that's a shame, I was hoping there would be the specs listed here, but, uh, let's just, let's see here. I will get this guy out. I got to put my glasses back on now. All right. And we will see how long this guy is because I think that's important. So it is, uh, three and a half inches long. Um, and again, it's not a bad size. So maybe I would get the mini, uh, because again, that will operate very well as a bit driver. Um, so, so maybe I would uh, get, if I got one, I would probably get the mini because again, I just don't see myself prying very much. I don't, I don't have the kind of job or the kind of tasks where I need to pry a lot. Now, the funny thing is there are some situations, I'll show you this, where I might would, um, so I'm, I'm in uh, the television side of things and I'm often opening what we call IO boxes, very large boxes, uh, steel boxes that are sealed that you can get all your connections in. And so I would might would use this to open their, they're opened with basically a screw head, uh, but it's about the size of a, a quarter. Um, but what I use now is I have this little craftsman. Uh, guys, if you don't have one of these on your keys, you should check into it. These, this is super cool. It takes very little space in the pocket. And I use this more than I use a lot of things. Um, and so, uh, this is great for opening those, but again, you can see this is a little bit bigger. Give me a little more leverage. So, you know, I don't know. I, I carried it a little bit. I've only had it for about a week cause it was a blade show. Um, I've only, you know, had it with me. Uh, I haven't used it really, you know, in, in those days, but I haven't been on any of my normal, you know, um, side gigs that I do where I use this kind of stuff more often. So, you know, maybe I would, I would get one again. Um, for me, $90 is, is, is a little high for a pry bar, um, but it's so thin and it's so lightweight. So, uh, you know, this is, like I said, so now you know why I'm calling this an overview because this is not like a full review because again, I haven't pried anything with this. I did use the bits. Uh, it is magnetic in there. Let's just show that real quick. I'm going to get one of the bits out of here just for the sake of time because I am Captain Fumble Fingers. Um... As you guys know, if you have watched the channel for any time at all, you know that I am Captain Fumblefinger. So, yeah, just goes right in. It is magnetic. You can feel it, suck it in there. Uh, really, really good. I mean, in that regard, as a bit driver, I think this thing shines. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Um, if you guys want one, they are actually in stock right now, I believe. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, you can add it to your cart and buy now. Um, it looks like both the full size and the mini are, yeah, in stock. So that's a good thing. Again, if you want one of the fancy schmancy ones, they may or may not be in stock. Like if I click, yeah, see the Tamascus with the Tamascus clip on the full size is out of stock. But the black wash ones are in. Um, yeah, very cool. So... Guys, check it check it out, and thanks Vero for sending these to Kevin, and thanks Kevin for uh, putting on this little pass around group, the lefty lefty pass around. Um, really appreciate you, brother. And there you go, guys, the Vero Neuron and the Vero Fulcrum. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, crazy, way too long look at these two items. Uh, and, um, yeah, thanks so much guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed guys, please consider doing so. We are growing and that's because of you. And I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.